Hello, good morning viewers and subscribers. Today we are going to be talking about knot grass. Oh, knot grass has botanical name of Cipirus rotundus. First, it is a highly viable perennial sedge. When we say perennial, it means it is a type of plant or grass that grows for two to three years. And when we say sedge, it means it is a grass like plant with triangular stems and inconspicuous flowers growing typically in wet ground. Sages are highly distributed throughout temperate and cold regions. Okay, first, it usually grows to between 20 and 50 centimeters tall and occasionally taller under favorable conditions. You can see it is, can you see the length between 20 to 50 centimeters tall? If the condition is favorable and it exists, it usually grows taller. So that is one characteristic of a of a nut grass, or you can call it superior rotundus, its botanical name. The stems are erect, they are smooth, not branched, and triangular in cross section. These are the stems. They are not branched, they are erect. If you raise it up, it's erect. And uh, they are triangular in cross section. What that means is that if you bring that can you see? If you look at the stem, you could see it's kind of triangular in cross section. That is what the knot grass. That's some. That's another characteristic of the knot grass. It is triangular in cross section. When you look at it cross sectionally, so that is one. Then the leaves are dark to bright green. They are glossy. They're up to two to six millimeter wide. And 20 centimeters in length, they are grass like and they have a prominent vein in the underside. What they mean by prominent vein, can you see this demarcation between the two flowers? That is what is meant by prominent vein. You see it in all. Can you see? That is what is meant by prominent vein. And you can see the leaves, this is kind of dark to bright green. Yeah. They are greenish, dark to dark green, that is not grass color. And uh, the leaves are 2 to 6 mm wide. Can you see how small it is? While the length is 20 cm or more. That is how it is. Beneath the ground, the plant features a network of boots, roots, rhizomes, and multiple tubules in shame. Over six in some circumstances. If you put it now, you are going to see. Can you see the root? Can you see the root of a knot grass? It features a network of boots. Can you see networks of boots, tubers, rhizomes, and multiple tuber specials? Can you see? Can you see how it looks like the net ground when you put it from the ground? The tubers are dark brown can you see the color that dark brown irregularly shaped if you see it does not have a particular shape it doesn't have any particular shapes and there are two centimeters in length when fully grown when fully grown there are two centimeter in length can you see so that is it Superus rotundus, also called not grass, usually experience time of new growth during spring, while its time of flowering is during late spring to summer. Well, it grows better during spring, this spring, and it flowers during during late spring to summer. So that's another characteristic of a not grass. Not grass reproduction is primarily by tubers. Seed reproduction is rare. Its reproduction capacity up to 15 tuba pen plants, 6 to 10 viable bulbs per tuba. So you can see, its means of reproduction is through the tubers. That's the root. That's how it reproduces itself. So that's another characteristic of a knot grass or cypirus rotundus. Its utmost self depth is within 10 to 15 centimeters of the soil surface. 
This soil type is a early fertility soil with moderate moisture, but capable of growing nearly all soil type. Do you see? You see the length 20 to 50 centimeter beneath the ground. This one here is even deeper because it is bigger, so the length inside the soil is higher, like 20 to 50 centimeter tall. Then a nut grass can grow in any type of soil, but it usually favors moisture soils. That's where it grows best, but it can it can grow in any type of soil, like you can see here. There are a lot of stone here, it's not too this is not a perfect soil for it, but it's usually going here. So there's another characteristic of a nut grass. Its competitive advantages are dense mat of rhizomes and tubers. You can see that this is very dense, okay? Dense. And difficult to control with tillage. It is very easy, hard crop to control when tilling. It cannot be controlled using selective herbicide or plastic mushroom. Is a perennial special with tubers covering of main domat in the soil for several years. So that was it.